Then guys, the uh, Sierra Cosworth. All right, genuine old car this. Either leave it as is and just have a real usable Sierra, or there's potential there to take it up to the next level or two, I would suggest, but it's just nice to see one in, in brackets sort of working clothes, really, that you could actually go out and use, have a bit of fun with, as they're supposed to be. There's a lot of description on the window here. I'll just zoom in for you, but you can, uh, you can, there you go. You can pause that, can't you? And hopefully read that bit of blur that the uh, vendor's left on the window, I'm telling you the basics about the car. I'll get uh, Jack to photograph that as well. Perhaps I might do the photographs myself in a minute. But she's just been sat over there for the last oh, couple of weeks, patiently waiting for us to uh, to get on and process it. We've been just so busy with the live show. And uh, I just put, just connected the battery, put it on, hit the starter. A little bit lazy on the battery, but it fired up almost straight away. Two or three turnovers, boom, and away. No bad noises, no bad smoke. Sounded quite well. Oh, radio was working earlier, so was the amp. Albeit we're on Russian radio, I think, at the moment. Computers working, they all lit up earlier on and went out. The usual dash scenario, I'm afraid. They all suffer a bit with that, don't they? But other than that, it's nice to see inside, right genuine, even down to, you know, just a nice bit of patina on the gear stick and stuff like that. Blinds sliding backwards and forwards properly. Tilt and slide is working. There you go, that's working as it should. Can't beat a Ford tilt and slide, no way. Door shuts are nice and clean, door cards are good. Very little in the, in the, in the uh, damage and things and, the, and no swelling on the cards there, all nice, door shuts are good. The seat there, number there, seat bolsters are all good. Just unlock that golf and leave it unlocked. That golf must have gone off about three or four times this morning. Sorry, it'll stop in a moment or two. There you go. There we are. A couple of um, non-standard bits there, but they don't they don't shout out at you. Nice to see a standard airbox. Look at that. Nice to see that for a change. Clean on the inner wings. There's one ID plate, there's another. So that's straight enough in there, isn't it? Clean around the battery tray. Like I say, you could do one or two things with the car, I would think. You could take it up to the next level, very easily, and have quite a nice show car. Or you can leave it as it is and have some fun with it. I just thought it's so nice just to pop the bonnet and see a lot of original features there. I like to see all the nice clean lines, little brackets and bolts that they're all right as they should be. As you look across and even down to the sticker on, I know it's not a genuine tank, but even down to someone's, just had the, the thought just to put the sticker on. So that I think sort of sums it up really, we'll have a quick look in the boot. I think it's good value for money in the world of three doors, I really do. Parcel shelf's good, usual jack. Can you just hold it up for me so it doesn't give me a bad day banging my head on that? That's it. Cover's all done there. Cap still on. Oh, you have to treat yourself to a spare wheel. But the boot floor's good. Solid enough is the floor. Right, that can go down now, Jack.
which leads me back onto the fact when I keep saying you could easily take it back again if you wanted. But what a nice usable three door if there is such a thing. Here for our next sale, I believe I've heard rumors of a white one coming down as well. Uh, so a choice of two hopefully for our next sale. So viewing starts as of Monday and uh, two week viewing period. Please come down, have a look, see what you think. Go from there.